What a show. What a show. Is something exciting finally going to happen? I don't know why the rocket's so close to town, but that would be exciting. Terrorists! Terrorists? Where? Oh, thank you. You did it to the correct person. Death. Don't let them get any further! All hands! Attack! That is quite the war cry, sir. Sending two at a time is not going to be the answer, I don't think. Doing no damage is not going to be the answer either. But I do appreciate it. Okay, let's see how this goes. Oh, it missed the other time. I was hoping I had something that gave him immunity to sleep, but I guess it's the safety bit. Not quite the same. Alright, Captain, you're up. We got past ya. Sad day. Okay. Hold on. A shit. You're kicking those Shinra crap heads out of my rocket. Take me with you. Oh, my goodness. I think that's the best option. I really wish there was a way to de-equip all the materia from Yuffie, but... Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Change party. Oh my gosh. There we go. Yuffie. Menu. Menu. Please. And equip on Yuffie. We don't want the dragon ring. Okay. Change party. Got it. Takes forever to open the menu. All right. Ripple. Wow. Have the partisan on? What is it? Part six? I think we'll just go high attack on this one. I don't have anything that I want to triple. Where is it? Bristol Bangle's better than the dragon armlet, huh? All right. Well, MP Turbo revived just in case. Heal, we don't need transform, we don't need more. Steal, add a cut, skill. Really? I had a lot of useless stuff on her, didn't I? Okay. So we'll just stick our our alls on everything.
we have any more alls? We do not. We do have a Hades, though. Let's see what he does. We got Blazaga. We just need fire. Uh huh. So we got sit up front. Oh, that's right. Limit. Limit for you. We got Meteor Rain, finally. Okay. We are ready. Yep, continue. Let's go. Shinra type 26. You again? Hey, Rude. Those who meddle with Shinra's claim are eliminated. Very menacing. Gotta get rid of these guys. Oh, he's gonna smack me around this time. All right. Let's see what this meteor thing does. Oh, a bunch of random damage. All right. I have a feeling this was supposed to happen before I fought them in the uh, the down ship. Hey, does he counter? It's the job. Kind of. Hold still. There, we'll just do this and then not have to worry about anything. Shell out there. I'm not too worried about him. Him being poisoned and all. Ooh, yeah. Do you have anything to steal? Ah, we'll never know. Can't sit asleep that whole fight. They got us. Try not to shred on you. <laughs> Tippy toes. All right. You. What are you doing here? I was expecting Rude of the Turks. Too bad. He's out there in the heat. Yep, we got him. Oh man, a Turk done in like that. Well, you're not getting past me. Okay. Misplaced bravery on that one, I think. Which way do we go? That way looks like a way. That way looks like the only way. All right. Captain Sid. Listen to this, Captain. We're launching the rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? We've loaded a materia bomb on board and are going to smash it into meteor. Our rocket is going to save the planet. Who or what? Hang on. Oh, this must be the huge materia from Nibelheim. Get the hell up! Shut your trap! All right. It's okay, more or less. See, we did plan to hit Meteor using the autopilot, but a crucial part broke. Broke? How did the repairs go? Oh boy. 
Uh, well, Shara's on it. Great, but a bunch of wizards you guys are. <laughs> It'll take a hundred years if you leave it to that woman. I'll handle this. Don't need no damned autopilot. Hey, 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 hey! Go let them all know! Chop, chop! Chop, chop. All right, Captain. We'll leave the rest to you. Gotta get Shara out of there. She's gonna get burned up again. Sid, what do you think you're doing? Materia contains knowledge and wisdom passed down from ancient times. That power can help us save the planet from Sephiroth. We can't afford to lose the huge Materia. You understand that, right? Yeah, I get it. I understand Materia's precious. And I know what you're thinking. But listen. I don't give a rat's ass whether it's the power of science or the power of magic that saves the day. Actually, no. I guess if I had to choose, I'd be gunning for the power of science. Man used to crawl on the ground. Now he can fly. And at long last, he's about to go into space. Science is a power created and nurtured entirely by human hands. Science might just be what saves our planet. Sid's got to preach. I was able to earn a living thanks to science. So for me, there's no greater thing. You can't keep obsessing over what Shinra will or won't do. I don't want to have any regrets later on. But Sid... Shut the hell up! All you have are ifs and buts. It's time for me to get cracked. This man's Either suicidal. Well, get the hell out of my side. Move it. What the? Hey, hey! He survived Power. his little what the hell are you encounter with the truck. They said he finished the autopilot. So, I oh. Yeah. Okay. Shira, glad you picked a day to get past. Shit. No response. It's completely locked down. Hey, hey, hey! Almost finished off! Huh? No countdown. This didn't the same without it. Hey! Hey, hey! Blast off! Is it gonna work this time? We're going to space. Gonna live out Sid's dream. Here goes the town. I'm not sure you want to launch a rocket quite like that. But it seems to have worked. One small step for man. I finally made it. I'm in outer space. So, how is the course set? Straight for me, dear. Oh, joy! You, you gotta do something! <laughs> this ain't gonna be pretty! Oh, look. Palmer's kindly locked down the autopilot for us. There's no way to change course now. What were you gonna do before? So that's it then? Huh? The hell are you saying? You're still young, aren't you? you can't give up that easy! I have no intention of meeting the fools and crashing into that godforsaken rock. That's good. I thought you were suicidal for a second. Look. There's an escape pod just for times like these. But does it work? Okay. I've opened the lock on the escape pod. We'll bail right before this crashes in the media. 
Yo, wait a second. What's gonna happen to the huge material? If you want the materia, go and get it. We Jimmy want Lord. the materia. Use that ladder. That ladder. Are you sure? I don't know. I know what I said before, but... Maybe... All I wanted to do was go into space with this rock. So, I think you should do whatever you feel is right. All right, which ladder are we looking for? This ladder. Aha! Finally, the huge materia. The lock can be opened by entering four a out of four. Control pad. Hey, what's the passcode? Here's control panel. Will you operate it? Yes. Enter passcode. Glad. You know how to use this, right? Not a clue. Every time it says enter key, press red, blue, okay. green, or purple. If you punch in the right code, the lock will be released, and you can grab the material. So in what order am I supposed to enter the passcode? Hell if I know. Just try punching anything. Oh, gosh. Enter key one. Enter key two. Enter key three. Yes. Oh no. System lockout will activate in three minutes. No, you got it wrong. Of course I did. If you don't enter the correct passcode before the lockout activates, we won't be able to get the material. All right. Enter key one. Enter key two. Enter key three. Enter key four. Oh yeah, now I remember. I learned about a code that only the top Shinra oh, Okay. Space. You keep entering keys while I jog the old knife. Oh my gosh. Enter key one. Enter key two. Enter key three. Enter key four. The third key is blue. Okay. I think. Enter key. Enter key two. Enter key. Enter key. Four. Pretty sure there's a key you have to press. Oh twice. my gosh. Okay, well. Enter key one. Enter key two. Enter key. Enter key. Keep going, Sid. Okay. Enter key one. Third. Enter key. Enter. Enter key. You know, I don't think green is used at all. Awesome. Enter key one. Enter key two. Two minutes until your key lockout. Enter key. I don't think the first key is purple. Alright. Enter key one. So it's one. Enter key two. One. Enter three. Enter. Four. I don't think the first key is purple. Yes, like, yeah, I got that. Enter key one. So, one. Enter key two. two. Enter three. Enter one. The second key is blue. Okay. Enter key one. That's the third key. Enter key two. Enter key three. Enter key one. I don't think the first key is purple. Okay. Means we have either B or A. Enter key two. Enter key. Enter key. You know, I don't think green. Enter. Enter key two. two. Enter three. Key. Enter key. four. I'm sure the last key was green. No, wait. Maybe it was one blue. Minute until the okay. Oh, hold on. Enter key one. One. Enter key. two. Enter three. Key. Enter key four. Passcode verified. Thank you, Sid. My goodness. That's not nerve wracking at all. So it was uh, BBX A? B B A X. I don't know. The hints helped, but they came. Very, very slow. All right, we're done here, right? We are done here. Let's head down to that escape pod. Oh, a 
chair is still here? Damn it! My leg's stuck under this piece of crap! Sid! Shit! I can't lift it! Uh oh. Forget about me! Just go! The rocket's gonna crash in the media! You don't have time! There's no way I'm leaving a friend behind. And Paul! You idiot! This ain't the time to worry about others! The he least I can do is try. Really likes that little mantra, doesn't he? You're an idiot! You know that? Look out for number one! Dang gate exploded. So Tank Gate really was on the Fritz. Shira, you were right. But it's the end of the line for me. He's so dramatic. Don't say that, Sid. So dramatic. Huh? Shira? I tagged along. Here, let me help. You stupid, foolish little fool! I'm so sorry. There he goes. The escape pod is this way. Please hurry. Quickly. I'll detach the escape pod. Shira, will this crappy pod actually work? It's fine. I've been checking it up until now. Then we're safe. <laughs> Thank you. We don't have to detach it from the outside or something crazy like that, do we? Thank goodness, Shara's here. Thought she was gonna now sacrifice herself again. Oh man, it's space. I really made it. So long, Shara 26. Sweet home. That's not going to do much. <laughs> they put a lot of explosives in there, though. Did something. Gave Comet a haircut. Looks a little cooler now. Failed. Well, we took the huge bomb out of it, so yeah. I know how this sounds, but I kind of hoped it worked. 
We've been getting in their way of return. No, there's nothing left to try. Have we made a mistake? No mistakes here. Makes you worry, doesn't it? We can't worry. We have to think. Yeah, the girl's right. You start down that road and there'll be no stopping it. Things will just go from bad to worse. Well, you're pretty damn optimistic. He just lived out his dream, so yeah. yeah. I've been that thinking would do a it. lot recently. While traveling to space, while looking down on our planet, then adrift in the escape pod bobbing about the ocean. I've been thinking too. About the universe, the planet, the sea, so big and vast. Maybe no matter what we do, we're just too insignificant to make any real difference. Maybe. But see, this is the way I figure it. Captain said music. Our planet may seem big, but it's nothing compared to space. Think about it. It's just floating around in a huge void. Help and alone. And to top it all off, Zephyron said it's fell, festering away like a disease. That's why I say our planet's a child. A little kid, sick and trembling in the middle of this gigantic universe. Someone's got to protect it. You follow? Ain't we that someone? Sid, that was beautiful. I agree. Damn, man. Who even got to me? Captain Sid does it again. So what's the plan? How are we going to protect the planet from me? I'm still working on that. <laughs> He's only got the motivation part down. <laughs> huh? Did you hear something? A celestial scream? Meteor? Or is it our planet? Hey, how do you know what it is? Did you forget? Bugenhagen told us. Bugenhagen. Let's go see Grandpa. To Cosmo Canyon. Yes. I'm sure he'll be able to help us. Hurry. Hurry. Let's go see Grandpa. Okay, off to Grandpa. This is between you and me, but... Hagen's always been a Shinra regular. Oh, don't get me wrong. He's never brought Mako or weapons. You're not going to tell me what he does there, though? The machines in Cosmo Canyon were largely gifts from Professor Gast, surrounded by Shinra's machines, consumed by the mysteries of the planet. Science and the planet live side by side. For machines, all right. Hard. That's fair. In other news, I've just noticed that the ship's been modified. With all the extra switches and levers, little wonder I'm feeling confused. Okay. Maybe Bugenhagen can tell us something. The ship has been modified. That old guy Bugenhagen, huh? And I don't get him at all. At first I thought he was a nature lover, but he lives his life surrounded by machines. Let's see if Yuffie's done anything to cure her. No, she's still pretty sick. Sid. And the dragon armlet off of Sid. Hello, sir. You were old. Okay. Get you be all equipped up again. To this gem. Yep, gem. Alright. 
dragon armlet. We don't have anything better for her to equip as a weapon. Five, heal. Added cuts. Ice and lightning. What do we want? There we go. Four, transform, and what else do we need up here? Just my last all, I think. Ooh, holy. See if anything absorbs holy out there. Hello, sir. You were bored. All right. Off to Cosmo. Bugenhagen. Do we leave? Level ten. 